In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the sum of interior angles of any polygon. Before I do that, let's just unpick the language. The sum of, the sum of means the total of. So I'm gonna show you how to find the total of the interior angles of polygons. Interior angles are the angles inside a shape. Okay, so those are the three interior angles of a triangle. These are the four interior angles of this irregular quadrilateral. It's irregular because none of the sides are the same. And none of the angles are the same. So it's completely irregular. Okay, in this is a pentagon, it's also irregular. The interior angles are here. And in this irregular hexagon, the interior angles are here. Okay, so interior is different from exterior because ex exterior angles are created when you extend one of the sides or any of the sides, okay. Okay, so for example, this here is the exterior angle, or one of the exterior angles of the triangle. This is an exterior angle, this is, this is, and this is. It's what you get when you extend one of the side lengths. You can create an exterior angle like this. And there's an exterior angle of this hexagon. That is not considered an exterior angle. So exterior doesn't just mean outside, it means the angle that you get when you extend one of the side lengths. Anyhow, we're talking about interior angles. So the final word to define is polygon. Polygon is a two-dimensional shape, so it's a flat shape that has straight edges and is closed. So it's not open, that, you know, if it was a, sh if it was a physical object, it wouldn't be something that you could pour water into. All the edges are sealed up and joined to make corners. So what are we looking at here then? We're looking at the total of the angles inside 2D shapes that have straight edges. All right, we're gonna start with the triangle because this one is the one that forms the basis of all the others. I'm going to demonstrate to you that the angles inside a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Okay, I, I'm just going to demonstrate, this isn't a complete geometrical proof, but it goes some way to showing you that the angles inside a triangle do actually add up to 180 degrees. So there's one thing to note that we, before we go ahead, which is that the angles on a straight line add up to 180. That I think is a fact that you're probably familiar with. Okay. So if I tear this triangle into three pieces, so I've got the three angles, one on each piece, I'm going to sit them on this straight line. And I'm going to make them all touch next to each other so that we can see the effect of what you get when you add the three together. So I've managed to get these two sitting on the straight line this one doesn't quite fit at the moment so what I need to do is turn it around and then slot it into place and now we can see that these three angles do indeed one two three lie on a straight line and because we know that the angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees we must have therefore demonstrated that the angles inside a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Okay. Here that is again, angle A, B and C. Okay. Add up to a straight line and a straight line is 180 degrees. Okay. So we'll use that fact to help us work out some uh, a, mi a missing angle. This is the kind of thing that you might get in an exam, potentially. Uh, let's say that that angle is 30, that angle is 110, find angle A. 
well the three angles together a plus 110 plus 30 equal 180 um, that makes 140 those two there make 140 added together so a plus 140 equals 180 and then a plus something equals 140 well if I do a plus 140 take away 140 from both sides seeing as I've set this up as an algebraic equation okay that would then eliminate those two and they'll cancel each other out and I would get a equals 140. Okay, if you're not happy about the algebra, sorry, a equals 40, I beg your pardon. If you're not happy about the algebra, okay, and that was all confusing, then let's have a look at that in another way. So these three angles, a, 110 and 30, add together to make 180. A plus 140 equals 180. Okay, they're 140, where does that come from? It comes from adding these two together. So I've been able to crunch those together, that still means that there's a missing number that I need to add on to 140 to make 180. Something plus 140 equals 180. Well, that something can only be 40 degrees, 40. So angle A equals 40 degrees. Right, we're going to use that information, the fact that a triangle's interior angles add up to 180 to help us with the other polygons. What I need to demonstrate now is that I can fit triangles into these three shapes. So let's take this quadrilateral. I'm going to create two triangles, that's the smallest number of triangles that I can fit inside a quadrilateral. I wonder if you can see where I'm going with this. Now that I've got a triangle here and a triangle here, I've got two lots of angles that make 180 degrees. There's one triangle, and the interior angles add up to 180. Here's another triangle, and the angles add up to 180. If I add those two together now, I get 360. So the angles inside a quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. So that's for a quadrilateral. In a pentagon, what's the smallest number of triangles I can fit in now? Okay, that's not going to make a triangle. Um, that's going to make a triangle. And there's another triangle, and there's another triangle. Right, well, I've used up all the vertices, I've used up all the corners that I can to make triangles and the smallest number of triangles that I can squeeze inside a pentagon using all the vertices that is, is three. I've got one here with three angles that add up to 180. I've got another one here and those three angles add up to 180 and then this one here and they add up to 180 so that's 180 plus 180 plus 180 540 degrees so for a pentagon the sum of interior angles is 540 degrees There is a pattern emerging, but let's see if you found it before I explain it. Okay, this hexagon now, how many triangles can I split this into? What's the smallest number of triangles that I can split it into? 
Easiest thing to do is to start from one common point and then fan out to the other points. Four triangles. I've created four triangles. So look, this one has three angles which add up to 180. This one has three angles which add up to 180. This one has three angles which add up to 180. And this one here also three angles. So that's now four triangles, each adding up to 180 degrees. Add those together, 180 plus 180 plus 180 plus 180 adds up to 720 degrees. So for the hexagon, adds up to 720 degrees. Let's have a look at all of that in a table. Maybe the pattern will become clearer. So the number of sides, these are, these are the four shapes that I've gone through so far. Three sided shape, otherwise known as a triangle. The smallest number of triangles that I can fit in a, is of course a one triangle. That's one lot of 180 degrees. 180 is the, is the sum of the interior angles. When I've got a four sided shape or a quadrilateral, any quadrilateral you like, the smallest number of triangles that I can fit in is two. So that's two lots of 180, which is 360. When I've got a five-sided shape, any pentagon you like, the smallest number I can fit in is three. So three lots of 180, 540. A six-sided shape or a hexagon, I can fit in four triangles. So that's four lots of 180, which is 720. The pattern that you're probably seeing is that if I take away two, then that's the, that's the smallest number of triangles that I can fit in to that number of sides. So if I've got a seven-sided shape or a heptagon, then I can fit in five triangles. If I've got an eight-sided shape, I can fit in six triangles. If I've got a 22-sided shape, then I can fit in 20 triangles. So how am I going to work out the sum of the interior angles? I'm going to multiply the number of triangles by 180. 5 times 180 equals 900. 6 times 180 equals 1080. 20 times 180 equals 3000. 600. Okay, so the sum of the interior angles of a polygon that has 22 sides is 3600 degrees. Okay, and you can find that now for any polygon. You can find the sum of the interior angles for any polygon. Okay, that's the end of that video. I hope that's useful for you, and that from this you'll then be able to find the interior angles um, of any regular polygon okay thanks for watching bye